to Diamond Dog Training. I'm Joyce and this is Nikki. Leave it. I would like Nikki to believe that when I say leave it, that she's going to back away from it. If she has it in her mouth, she's going to drop it. And if she doesn't have it in her mouth, she's going to just get as far away from it as she can because I'm going to reward her for not touching it. This is just a little part of a bully stick, which I've broken off. Let Nikki sniff it. Nikki, leave it. Now, as much as she wants to get into it, whatever she wants to do, as long as she wants to try to get there, I'm going to allow her. As soon as she moves her head away from my hand, I'm gonna click. And when I click, I'm going to feed her. And I'm gonna feed her from the other hand. Nikki, leave it. As soon as she backs away, I'm going to reward her. If she stays away from it, I'm going to reward her again. Nikki is starting to realize, stay away from it, and that's what we want. Nikki, leave it. And when her head comes back, I'm going to feed her. What's the next step? Will Nikki allow the hand to be open and her not touch it? Let's see. Nikki, leave it. Reward her. Nikki, leave it. If she comes forward, I clamp my hand closed. I'll try to get her nose. My goal, first of all, was to have my hand closed and Nikki stayed away from it. And then to have my hand open and she's not touching it. I'm going to see if I can get a little lower to the ground. She's still not touching it. Granted, there's food in the other hand. And I know you're saying, well, she's not gonna touch it because there's food in the other hand. But this is the way you start. You're teaching her to stay away from it, to leave it. Nikki, leave it. It's a happy voice. Leave it is a happy voice. It's not anything real harsh. It's nice and happy. Nikki, leave it. She's not touching it. Now my goal is to get this to the ground. Leave it. And remember, if she goes for it, I will close my hand and wait till she backs away. Until finally, my goal will be to get it all the way to the ground. Oh, messed that one up, didn't I? That was my bad. Did you see my mistake in that one? I clicked as she came forward. Everybody makes mistakes. That was a blooper. I'll have to go back and reward her for, for leaving it. Leave it. Nice part about your dog is they're very forgiving. You notice I only say leave it the first time I present it. I don't keep saying leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. I want it to be just one time. Nikki, leave it. I closed my hand, it didn't click. Sometimes they don't look at it because they don't want to see it. Prefer that they'll go forward and that's okay. Every time she comes forward, I will close my hand. When she backs away, I'll open it. When she's not moving, that's just as good as backing away. Can I get it all the way to the ground? Let's see. Nikki, leave it. Good girl. She looked at it but didn't move, right? So this is leave it. And I'm going to click again because sometimes when you scratch, you forget about what you're doing there. She was thinking. Scratching is thinking, by the way. And I'm going to take my hand and let it come off of it. I cover it. That's why I'm close enough to the ground here so I can reach it. If she reaches forward, I'm going to cover it. She has to know that even though the tree is visible to her on the ground. She's not going to touch it. Nice job. Good girl. And I'm going to jackpot her for that one. And jackpot is lots of little tiny pieces. Once you say leave it with an item, it means that your dog can never touch it. Okay? Good job. Good job. Bye for now from Diamond Dog Training, from Nikki, and from Joyce. Bye-bye.